What's up guys, welcome to World of the Games, it's me Eric again And I'm going to be reacting to a podcast this time It's a guy who dumps his girlfriend over the radio So let's see if this is funny or not Because I said it's funny and it says 12, it's 12 minutes long so it better be goddamn funny So Chris, Chris has to say. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna recap quickly for everybody who's uh, just tuning in. So Chris called us up, said that he uh, had an initial plan to, do, to propose to his girlfriend on Sunday on Valentine's Day. Now, how, how long have you guys been together? Five years. Five years, alright. So she's thoroughly expecting it. Now, he's been hearing from some of her friends. I guess she found the ring at some point. So she's yeah. been going around uh, saying that all, right, all her friends. And this is the weekend. This is the weekend. propose. Right. Do what, you know, what girls do, they get excited about it when they think it's coming. Oh, especially on Valentine's Day. Now, here's the thing. Chris also found out that uh, she's been seen out in town with this guy who she's always claimed was her friend. Just a friend. Mm. This guy named Eric, right? Yep. Now, I'd ask Chris how he knew that there was I swear it wasn't me. I, was, I wasn't you know, over there. Man, why does it have so much Eric everywhere? Give him my name a bad so, name. Uh, that makes that's sense. Hey, whatever. If, if, that's, if that's your line, like some people go, oh, listen, it's just a kiss. We've been getting, you know, some people on the text. I did not kiss that woman. This guy's freaking out over a kiss. But, I mean, listen, cheating's cheating. Whatever you define in your relationship is cheating. Like, I'd be pissed if my wife was making out. A kiss is enough to set me off with some other dude. So I suggested a drive by whore. But apparently yeah. that's not good. No, so Chris, I guess, was going to dump her on Sunday. But then he thought, hey, how can I really crush, crush this bitch's soul? Let's talk about Chris. And then maybe I can dump her live on the air. So uh, he's looking for some revenge. Let her know that she's on the air. So I mean, hopefully this works out. And she doesn't think. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I have an idea on how to keep her on the line so she won't freak out. I can't just say, "Hey, Chris wants to talk to you." No. Well, there are a couple people also texting in with their suggestions yeah. as well. I got to do. All right. So Chris, are you ready? Sure. Are you yeah. sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm. Right. Maybe going down a dark path. Where okay. I'm just saying, five years is a long time, and like you, 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 are you sure you want to dump her? Yeah, I'll just have that one number. Alright, well, here he's positive. He's, he's okay. not playing that. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna call her right now. Call her, let's see what she has to say. She's about to be blasted into uh, I pieces. Know you're so, I can't say I'm a listener. My boyfriend's a big fan of yours, but uh, mm. it, I, soon I'm to be an ex boyfriend. Yeah, well, she's a woman. She doesn't listen to Astro. Well, she doesn't listen to Astro. She was cheating with Eric. It wasn't me, right, well, some other Eric out there. Give him my name about that name. And, uh, Shit. Here's the deal we're doing a segment on the show this morning about the most creative ways to propose to your wife or girlfriend. Now, we had another one of your friends call in. Do you have a friend named Melissa? I do have a friend named Melissa. Melissa called in and told us that you are getting engaged this weekend. Now, how do you know this for sure? Well, well I can't believe she called and told you that because I told her under strict confidence. But, um, under strict confidence, well, they're going to run them up. I've been with my boyfriend for about five years now, yeah. and, well, that's not the only reason. I... I kind of stumbled across the right I wish there was a video to watch. It would have been more funny. <laughs> Alright, now that's not important. That's not the reason that we're uh, that we want to talk to you this morning. Gypsies and shysters. Right. I mean, they're, they all snoop, but here's the thing. That's not the reason we're calling. We're calling because we're doing a segment on the most creative ways to propose. So we figured that if your boyfriend is listening, maybe he can get some ideas on what would be the ultimate proposal. Like, what, like, to you, like, what would be the ultimate proposal? Like, not like a scoreboard thing, right? That's kind of, you know. Oh, no, no. Or, 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 a, ring, or a ring and a glass of champagne at dinner or in your dessert, right? No, because then it gets messed Make up. Make sure this camera is recording. It yeah, it's recording. Um, no, I, I, I have to say, I, my tastes are pretty simple. Um, 
I mean, it, I guess... It tastes as mother because he's going to dump your ass. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Like, I guess she's like really hyped, like definitely at night, definitely at this time and this way. Uh, he's just about to dump her. Because she was cheating with Eric. Not me, some other Eric out there. Give my name a bad name. It's gonna be some candlelights, all right? In the funeral of your relationship. Save it, Ashley. Oh He's just gonna dump your ass. Um, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, well, Ashley, we, we've been together for you know five years. Oh my god, she's making it seem uh, like he's really about to propose. I, I really love you with all of my heart, and um, you know, I dreamed of, of spending the rest of my life with you. And I saw kids, I saw a future, um, and and I felt that way since the day I met you. Um, I guess I just have. She didn't even know what he said. She didn't even notice what he said. <laughs> She's like, I don't understand what's going on. He's like, Ashley, Ashley, he's dumping you. He's explaining everything. <laughs> no, me, some other Eric. No, me, I don't play that. She's quiet. She did it. Ashley, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what do you have to say? So, Eric, I mean, I'm sorry. Ashley, you've never screwed around with this Eric guy. This guy's just your friend. Well, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're right there. Right there. She's you lying. Know? She is lying. Right. Ashley, have you ever done anything? I could tell this because my last girlfriend was just like this. I know she's my ex and I'm never talking to her again. Because I don't play games. Yes or no? I made a couple of mistakes. Screw you, Ashley. Screw you. Answer the stupid question. I'm answering the stupid question, okay? I made a couple of mistakes a few months ago, and I've always known that you're the one I want to be with, and I realized it was a mistake, and I stopped it right away. Yeah, you stopped it right away. Is that why the last week people saw you? He ran after because I went to the camera cut off. Ashley, let me ask you a question. 
So he said it happened like, like last week that you guys were making out. Did you find the ring and know that Chris was going to propose to you before or after? Like, did you find the ring before or after you were making out with this Erica? Before or after? <laughs> Yeah, the time to expose cheating people like you. Excuses saying that she, she she made a mistake a few months ago. If you made a mistake a few months ago, how come they call you in the bar last week? You know, um, that's the right thing that he did because if he stay with her, it's, that's going to continue. It's just a fact. Uh, my last girlfriend, that's what she did, and um, and I got rid of her. I, I I'm not gonna. I I don't go around kissing people and having feelings for people and sleeping around with people. So if you want to do that, go ahead be with them and um, I don't talk to her no more because I'm not going to go back to the past I'm just taking my time I'm single right now I'm with some wonderful lady is gonna wonderful girl is gonna come into my life and we're gonna be happy she tried to text me the other day and I'm like this don't text me this keep by yourself yeah but this was funny thanks for sending me this Bradley and um, like comment subscribe and all that good shit <laughs>